I left so many people that I loved behind. So many that I can hardly remember them all. But there are two, just two, that I can never forget. I thought I was done with them. They're not done with me.
Some days I envy the dead. Rashid, come in. Over. Vanessa, you there? God damn it. Hey, Pete. Michonne, what are you doing up? Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You holding up okay? Don't worry about you. You're not the easiest to read. Things are getting better. Slowly. You're not gonna recover overnight. These things take time. Just please tell me if, you know, if it gets as bad as it did. I just need to keep busy. Oak! Oak! Wall! Get down here. Michonne's taking your ship. Two minutes! I still haven't heard from Rashid or Vanessa. It's not like those guys to be in a contact for this long. We trade every time I come through, same spot. Everything's just gone. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the dock. You'll find them. Hope you're right. Maybe we can pass by again on our way back. Listen. You hear it? You hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, that you? I hear static? No, no, it's, it's more than just static. Hey. Michonne? Ah, again with the short wave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. If they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I want to know why. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? You heard it that time, right? She said help. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like Vanessa. But it's someone. She might know what happened here. No, oh, damn it! We're losing the signal. Look, if we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. All we'll find out there is trouble, Pete. I mean it. What's the point in just surviving? We gotta do better than that. All right, so let's help her. At least someone gets it. You're the only one on this boat that even comes close to understanding. Not Berto, not Sadiq. Especially not fucking Oak. You know there are people worth helping. Take over for me, okay? I'm gonna turn the boat around.
Are you in danger? Anything? I heard her. Barely. I knew it. Oh, this is a bad idea, Pete. You want to find more people. You're forgetting what people are like. What is she? What the? Oh, bloody hell! Who's there? Can't see a damn thing! Everyone okay? Berto! Sadiq! You guys better get up here! What do we hit? Hell if I know! I can't see a damn thing! Berto! Hold the wheel steady! Take in those sails! Now! Are you all right? Thanks for the save. Jesus! Oh, get the jib under control! Damn shortwave. You just had to take your same clothes right into a fucking rock! Hey, I've been sailing these waters for years. There aren't any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. You said it yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is gonna find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. You're just being paranoid. It's not paranoia if you're right. You all need to calm down. We don't know anything yet. She's right. Panicking about it won't make us any less stuck. That girl on the shortwave. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oak, Sadiq, get those sails tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on! Michonne, what exactly did she say? I didn't hear a damn thing. It was all static. Michonne, take these. See if you can figure out what we got stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving again. For all our sakes. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. to see out there. Hey, Michonne, we could use a hand here. Then we gotta bleed the wind out of this sail. Stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. Look, he's just an optimist. You call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. You think this is an accident? Damn wind. Grab it. You're saying this is a trap. People do anything to survive these days. And to get their hands on a boat like this, Oh, you think you got it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. We can take it from here. What's that? See anything out there? Looks like an old ferry. Could be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. Maybe. These things are ancient. No wonder they broke. There. 
there it is. Hey, Pete. Figured out what we're stuck on. Damn. At least it's not Rashid's boat. Hey, Michelle. Hope no one's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just... I don't want to see this fall apart, you know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. You're not the only one. I shouldn't let him see me slacking off like this. Pete. Find anything? Saw a ferry. Maroon near the shore. A ferry? Didn't see a ferry last time I was here. Tiller lever shot. Snapped in two. The what? Tiller lever. Connects the wheel to the... Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need, Pete. Might have what we need to fix this damn thing. It's the best option we got. Let's get to that ferry. I don't want to be stuck here any longer than we have to be. Can't argue with that. Maybe we can find some sign of a sheath crew. Let's round up the crew. Michonne and I will scout the ferry, see what we can find. All right, so we're just gonna sit around waiting for you. You wish. You've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. Oh, Christ, here we go again. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull her out of here, and lay anchor near the shoreline. Got it. Don't go anywhere. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. Don't let this turn into a rescue mission. Forget his friends, right? Best get the parts and get back here. We'll get what we need and get out. That's the plan. Good. Come on. Let's get going. You ready? Sure it's quiet out here, huh? Ah, the sound. Kind of peaceful in a way. Don't you think? I don't know. Something's not right. <laughs> Ever the optimist. You know, something's really been bothering me. And I have to ask. What? Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Says I look like a pirate. What do you think? Be honest. That's your big question? You're worried about a damn earring? Man's gotta look good, doesn't he? Just trying to make you laugh a little. <sighs> you wouldn't get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. It's gotta be exhausting. I'm sure you have your reasons. Just makes it hard to get to know people. I think you're exaggerating. This is you. All right, I get it. You know, when we first brought you on board, never thought you'd decide to stick around. You didn't talk to anybody. I just assumed you'd take off the minute you got your strength back. But I keep expecting to wake up and find this dinghy gone, and you with it. But... Here you are. Haven't got sick of me yet. I'm not staying here forever, Pete. No one's gonna keep you here if you don't want to be here. 
When we met, you were... I mean, I saw what you were about to do. You haven't had it easy out there. I know you mostly keep it to yourself. I don't want to make you talk about it. Why'd you stop me? You pulled the gun out of my hand. If you hadn't shown up, I figured I owed you. You know, before this, I was just on my own, like you were. I convinced myself I liked it that way. But after a while, I just... I should have kept my mouth shut, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Jesus. That could have been a lot worse, you know. Yeah. I know. Like this. Might be someone who can tell us where everyone went. There's no sign of anyone. Just those fucking crows. It could be in there somewhere. Yeah. Being really quiet. Well, unless we can find another boat. Looks like we're stuck here. Looks abandoned. Doesn't mean it is, though. We'll figure something out. Glad you're feeling so optimistic. Looks like there's two ways in. The ladder or the window. Close quarters in there. Easy to get trapped if we're not careful. We could get to the upper deck this way. This thing doesn't fall apart. All right. Let's hope this thing holds. Come on. Don't fall. Thanks.
Seems like this place was someone's home for a while. Do you think your friends came through here? It's hard to be sure. We should look around. Maybe we'll find something down there. We'll have to go through the cafe to get to the stairs. You're just looking for Mr. Honeybars. Always. <laughs> Nothing but a hunk of old metal. Locked. If one of us can get our hand through here, maybe we can unlock it. No. Nice. I don't see anything. Doesn't mean there's nothing there, though. No. The question is, which one of us wants to reach in there to open it? One of us has to do it, right? I mean, I'm sure we'd hear something if anything was on the other side. I'll do it. Well, here goes nothing. Be careful. Need some help, Pete. Ready when you are. Come on. God. These aren't your friends. No, no. They don't look like walkers. Wonder what happened to them. Their wrists are zip tied. They couldn't fight back. Whoever did this, made sure they wouldn't come back. These people hadn't turned. They were executed. Jesus. Holy shit. Don't leave us here! We want to come with you! Stay here. I'll be back soon. They're their kids. Vanessa and Rashid were here. If they left this behind... They... Michonne. You okay? You've got that look. Same look you had when... I'm, I'm fine. You don't look fine. All right. They wouldn't have left this on purpose. But I gotta hope they're still alive. 
They made it off this thing. If you're gonna find anything in this boat, it'll be in here. Jesus. Someone strung him up and left him to be eaten. up there, the execution of those people, what was done to that poor man. Who the fuck could have done that? It wasn't war. It wasn't even self-defense. Focus on finding the girl. Then we can worry about who did this. You're right. Hold up. We don't know what's in there. What do you see? There's a duffel bag. Looks like it's in good shape. Any sign of people? Looks quiet, but keep your guard up. My guard's always up. Thanks. Someone scavenged everything else but left this? Makes no sense. I know, but damn. We could really use this stuff. medicine. Where'd all this stuff come from? Plenty of ammunition. Oh my god. Mary Lily's peaches and beans. God, I used to have these three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Drove my mom crazy. Cigarettes. Don't show those to Berto. We finally just got him to quit. We should see what else we can find. Wonder if it's still any good. Whoever's in there, come on out. Shit. Back up. Oh, back up. Greg! What's going on? Easy. Who the hell are you people? 
Who are you? Look, kid, just tell me now. Careful. I'm Michonne, and that's Pete. We're just passing through. Yeah, sure you are. That bag belongs to us. So step aside, all right? Don't be stupid. I don't want to do this, but we need that stuff. So just back up. We get it, okay? Take it. It's yours. Stay put. Randall! Shit! Looks like you caught our thieves. Nice job. You. Man, you gotta be kidding me. And you've got help this time. Interesting. Thought you were a solo act. Guess we had you figured wrong. What the hell is going on? Don't play dumb. This is a misunderstanding. Damn. I know Sam here didn't do all this. Get them all onto the boat. And be careful. These new ones aren't fucking around. We'll take them to Norma. They try anything, shoot them. Let's see. Two canteens, a lighter, pocket knife, oh, machete. Any bites, rashes, coughing? No. They're clean. You know we're gonna need those weapons back. Don't worry. You'll get them back. Once we've cleared all this Bullshit. up. Bullshit. Watch it, girl. You're in deep enough already. You know, if I had my way, I'd just dump you over the side. See how well you swim with your hands tied behind your back. Guy right. might talk to me. Norma's Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. You're lucky she's no, he doesn't seem shots. like the most reasonable listen, guy. Listen, I know we can work something huh? out. Is that talking to you? Might be worth the shot. Be careful, all right? Hey, cut the chatter. You speak when spoken to, understand? All right. You. Let's we'll start with you. What's your name? It's okay. You can tell me. I'm just making conversation. My name's Michonne. Randall, now that the, uh, pleasantries are behind us, let's talk about what you did. We didn't take anything from you. Shut up. Your mouth. I'm talking to your cohort. Bet we're not the only ones you've stolen from. I didn't steal shit from you. Then you've got nothing to worry about. Let's see here. Nice machete. You handled those walkers back there. But how are you against something that can actually fight back? It's plenty sharp. 
take good care of this blade. Untie me, and I'll show you. I'll bet. Weapon like this, you gotta be comfortable getting in close. Getting messy. You know, every person we find living, they got some dead with them. Who was it for you, I wonder? Mother? Father? A couple sisters, maybe? Not kids. You? <laughs> oh, man. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. So you... You got nothing left to lose. No wonder you're all stoic and shit. But hell, we all lose people. Can't let it get you down. <laughs> Ooh, I hit a nerve. Don't feel bad. I'm a lot like you. No shame in that. Look at that. Here we are. Monroe. Doubt you got a good look last time you were here. Too busy stealing from us to appreciate our little community. Bet you never gave them a second thought. The folks you fucked over? It wasn't us. We haven't been here before. Save it for Norma. My sister. She's the one in charge here. She'll be just thrilled to see you. Zachary, thank God. You hurt? I'm fine, Jonas. I'm fine. Here, found your missing medicine. Thanks. I'll uh get this back to the sick bay. Hey, your job's not done yet. Come on. Randall, what's all this? I hoped I'd never see you again, Samantha. Norma, I'm... Not a word. Not from you. Found them on the ferry, along with this. <laughs> that one there. Michonne? She's the one to watch out for. That true? You dangerous? You don't believe me? I've never been wrong about something like this. I think she's more than capable of speaking for herself, Randall. I got nothing against you people. Good. That'll make this easy. Randall, escort these ladies to the storeroom. Find somewhere comfortable for the other two. What? That's my brother! Come on. You got this under control? Sam! Greg, you'll be okay. Get moving. Where are they taking Pete? Don't you worry about him. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are gonna have ourselves a talk. I'm not gonna let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. Anything goes down and I'm blaming you. I don't take orders from you. 
You should reconsider. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but that's, uh, probably not gonna happen. Oh, we've gotta get out of here. They're gonna hurt Greg. These people... You don't know what they're capable of. I'm worried about Pete too, okay? Should have never involved my brother in this and, and now you, I'm... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Is Norma right? Did you steal those supplies? Well, I didn't steal the duffel bag, if that's what you're asking. This is my fault. I'm so sorry, I... I was just trying to protect my family, that, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. What the hell is going on here? I just wanted to use the radio to, to reach people. I never expected that Randall will show up there. Not after... <sighs> Ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp head. Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. Ugh. Never be able to slip my hand out. This used to be full? How should I know? Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. These must have come from there. Yeah. One of the Mobjects' first aid kits. This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. Something that I can do? I I tried to help you. I I I know. When I get out of this, I need you to tell me the truth. You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. Came with his whole crew. And he just... murdered them. Why would you ever go back to the ferry? The radio. It was our only chance to reach outside help. That worked out well, didn't it? Obviously, we were wrong. Then they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Well, you know what happens. They just... It's nothing to them. I saw what Randall did. Now do you get it? If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's loose. Just a, a little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. 
You with me? This is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. What's it gonna be? Worth a shot. Let's do it. Quiet down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. Kept it together. I'm a- no! Come on. Norma wants a word. So, Miss Schoen. That's a great name, Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. Can you get to the point? I'm sorry about all this, but... I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure. Once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective. Everything points to you stealing from me, from my people. That puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence. If that's not how you see it, enlighten me. Help me understand. If all goes well, I'd be happy to remove them for you. Just tell me what you want. Oh, now we're not gonna get along, you keep that up. There's no reason we can't be friendly. No need to be rude now. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. You and I are gonna come to an understanding. No thanks. <laughs> That's too bad. Can't say I didn't try to be nice. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? Haven't seen you before, but then you might have been lying low. You seem brighter than Samantha. I just met Sam today. Really? And what brought you to that ferry? Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it, out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. You all ending up there together, at the exact same time. What do you want me to say? We were in the area, saw the ferry, that's what happened. That's not an answer. You keep wasting my time dodging questions, we're gonna have a problem. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. I suggest you stop fucking around. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't mistake my kindness for stupidity. I'm telling you what I know. I have a hard time believing that. So here's the deal. You're gonna tell me what I wanna hear. How many of you are out there? 
I need to know who's with you. Can't act on incomplete information. I'm not telling you shit. I've about had it with your lip. All right, then. I know how this whole thing must look to you. I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Since you just met, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural-born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape Big Bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. You almost believed her, didn't you? She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. And now she's stealing from me again. How am I supposed to feel about that? There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. Did you give a second chance to Rashid and Vanessa? Who? Rashid and Vanessa. Never heard of them. But if they showed up here, sure, they'd get their chances. I'm trying to protect these people. That's what we do here. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. No more beating around the bush. Where's the rest of it? What? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets, and ammunition, handguns, and a couple of rifles. All missing. I've got no fucking clue. Of course you don't. Bring in the kid. What, what, what do you- Do it! Here's how this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk to me. His sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact-checking, Greg. See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother- <laughs> Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on now. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. Ask him. I'm not doing anything for you. Well, if that's how you feel.